Fabi, a strategic decision to ice the game early on with the white pieces. How did you come to that conclusion? Uh, well, normally I would have um, liked to play at least a little bit. Of course, the draw is, is a good result in the last round, considering the tournament situation. But um, I don't know. I'll try to say this delicately. Uh, I mean, it's a big day for Levon, and I didn't think it would be. I th thought it would be wrong for me to, to play this game. Uh, that was also part of the reason for this. So I, I just I just thought, okay, a draw uh, makes sense from every point of view. Absolutely, and well. Uh, short day for you. Let's talk about this game because you're probably interested in this one as well. How do you assess uh, Ray's opening? Oh, I, I think this is, uh, in general, I'm happy with this, how, how the opening is turning out for Jeffrey. Okay, I, of course, White is a bit better. I, I'm sure he'll try to press this for a very long time, but it's a very solid position, and Jeffrey, uh, I mean, he has experience in these lines. He's been, he even played this with a uh, similar line with, with White against uh, Wesley earlier in the tournament. Very difficult for White to get any sort of edge here. I mean, you have like the tiniest, tiniest development advantage with White, I guess. I mean, the bishop on d7 is a bit awkward. But uh, usually, I played this with Black and Zanish a few years ago, so more or less same position. Um, it's a very, very tiny edge for White and very solid for Black. Was your uh, decision also based on the fact that Ray was facing a player that hasn't lost a single game in this tournament? No, again, my decision was not really based mostly on the tournament situation. Uh, it just conveniently worked out that the tournament situation is kind of, a draw was also good for me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it wouldn't have changed anything for me if, uh, no matter who Ray was playing. That makes a lot of sense. Guys, any questions for Absolute, our leader? Absolutely, Fabi. Well, first of all, congratulations on a very fine tournament, a very fine performance. But you yourself have said it, Fabi. Uh, the disrespectful <laughs> U.S. <laughs> championships coming to a close. Uh, give us your thoughts as a player about these uh, disrespectful U.S. championships. Okay, well, what can you say? I mean, this uh, it culminated yesterday, didn't it? I mean, <laughs> With the beheading. I've never seen anything like this. It's like, uh, I think maybe the tournament is quite long also, and uh, people are starting to go a bit nuts at the end of this. <laughs> I mean, I, I just couldn't wrap my head around this moment um, when Sam... What's took... your read on the whole situation? What do you think actually happened there? Well, we kind of were told what happened, right? That the king's... Hans's side. Hans no, but this was also corroborated by arbiters that uh -huh. these kings have loose tops. Mm -hmm. The crowns are loose. <laughs> I didn't notice, but apparently that's a thing. And the only thing is, like, why at that specific moment <laughs> did Sam decide to take the king <laughs> off the board? And it wasn't his move. It was Hans's yeah, move. Yeah, yeah, it was Hans's move. He, he decapitated it. <laughs> and then he threw it back on the board. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> Actually, uh, Fabi, I, want, I have a question. Do you remember when your king was disrespected as well? Do you remember any moment when your king was actually in trouble? I would put it this way. Thrown like, out of the board. Not, on, not in, chess, in the chess sense. In but the, yeah. No, in the, ch in the more or less chess sense, yes. I, do, you, uh, uh, do you remember uh, uh, this picture? Uh, Woody, Woody uh, resigning on your behalf on move one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Okay, this was a long time ago. Yes, yes. I have to say, I, I'm not very... A long, long time ago. I'm not very superstitious, <laughs> but a lot of chess players are, and yes. they, they might have gotten... Like, I didn't care so much, but a lot of chess players might have been really pissed off yes, if, yes. Uh, if someone resigned on their behalf before the game. Yes, but look uh, at also Magnus' face in this but, picture. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, Woody is such a like, eccentric individual. Right. I mean, I, I only met him briefly, but... He's, he's so interesting and so unusual that uh, it didn't surprise me that something like this happened. <laughs> um, but he is also a genius, I mean, uh, like as an actor, it's just amazing. Yeah. Nice. Exactly, yes. No, just I remember this funny moment and like I tried to remember something connected to the king and uh, suddenly this moment came to my mind in London 2018 match. Yes. Yeah, but it still wasn't decapitated. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Yes, <laughs> beheaded. I, I, I just know why the why the crosses are kind of little peg shaped because it very often happens that they do snap, and so then the idea is it's kind of easy to replace them. But <laughs> you know how it goes. I, think I, I, I can give um, this small any update. other any other things about this disrespectful I, I, U.S. I can championship give this, uh, that this small stood update out for about you. the kings. 
Yeah. So after yesterday, right? Every individual king was glued on. Every yes. what? individual crown was glued onto the king very carefully. <laughs> so this doesn't happen again. <laughs> yes, to make sure. For the last round, I guess. Uh, and this is what we were discussing yesterday's 12th game. Hans was thinking about what his move was. And then <laughs> Sam just picked up his king and then beheaded <laughs> the black king. And Hans is like, hey, man, give me back my king. <laughs> and Sam also didn't... looks so. Uh... <laughs> you can have this it. This slide is amazing. Sam also looks a bit guilty. <laughs> like he was caught doing something very naughty. Yeah. <laughs> Sam awesome. looked very confused in that whole this, I can watch it. Time and time again, and still, <laughs> yes. still pick up things. Were you there at that moment, by the way? No, no, I, I you, was watching. You had already the... left. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can enjoy it. I mean, the game was interesting from my point of view because Sam was plus two, and okay, he was never in close to winning that game. But if he had won, he would have gone to plus three. So, right. So I was kind of uh, curious about that game from a purely tournament standpoint. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so now we're waiting for the result of Ray Robson games. So thank to understand you. that we have playoffs. Yeah, yes. thank you very much, uh, uh, Babby. And uh, sorry, 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 last question. Have you ever played a playoff with uh, Ray? Did you ever get uh, into no, a tiebreaker? we've never played a playoff. We no played some breaks. assorted blitz games. Right. But never a playoff. And some rapid games, some online chess, but never a playoff. All are right. you going to get prepared now? What are you going to do? <laughs> no, okay, I mean, I'm going to follow the end of the, the tournament and see if I, I'll need to prepare and if so then uh, then I will of course but I'm not gonna prepare for something which may or may not happen. Okay. Right. Good day to you. Okay, <laughs> thank you uh, very much Fabi uh, thank you. for the interview. Still uh, what <laughs> what a tournament